All right, today I'm going to share this uh, video. I'm not going to edit it. Uh, I'm going to show you everything I'm doing today. Right now I'm going to make the uh, boss for the uh, shield. And uh, the boss is the uh, hollow metal dome that sits on the the center of the shield. I just uh, put this clay through my pasta machine. It came out bubbly, but that's what usually happens when you're doing thin. And all I do is just uh, place it between uh, two sheets of, or a sheet of a uh, parchment paper that you can get at a grocery store and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make the boss the boss what I need to do is make the uh, flat metal part part of the boss that uh, attaches to the shield and the only way I can do that is by making a flat piece of uh, clay. It's gotten very cold outside. It uh, was 30 degrees earlier today and it dropped 31 degrees to minus one. So it's, it's an interesting day. All right. Now I have a dome I made already and uh, I'm going to using my uh, caliper, I'm going to make a flat circular plate. Let's see how well that works. Uh, works pretty good. This all makes sense in just a few seconds. a round dome that doesn't look lopsided okay all right just keep pressing it till it's uh, perfectly dome shaped dome just press it down now I need to put some uh, bolts holding it on to the uh, shield and what I'll do is just make tiny little balls here and just put four of them around the edge
not a bit happy with the arm bands, so I'm going to redo those. And uh, I got this flat piece of clay that I ran through the uh, pasta machine and I think I'm going to make the uh, armbands out of this. If you haven't guessed by now, sculpting takes a lot of patience. pattern on this uh, raised area at the uh, front of the uh, armband.
I'm just putting a little texture on the inside of the uh, robe to give it kind of a feel of uh, movement. Like the wind's billowing out the uh, robe a little bit from behind. Now you see me using tools that are unique to what I use and it's because I've taken metal tools, cut them on a uh, metal cutter and then I put them into a wooden dowel and uh, shape them a little bit on a grinder to fit my needs. Um, you know, you, I can't tell you where you can buy one like that because I made the tool, but, uh, you can, uh, get an idea of how a tool should look that you want to use, and you can make your own tools too. If you're going to do texture up here, you got to do texture all through the, uh, inside of your robe. You can't do it on one part and leave the other part untextured. So whatever texture you're putting into one part, you got to put it into all parts. Now that's just on the inside. Now what you do on the outside, that's a different thing. Sometimes a texture on the inside, you can make that different than the texture on the outside. Texture gives a sculpture life and movement. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing your texture in straight lines. I'd suggest doing it in kind of little curves because nothing in nature is straight. And you got to use the same tool for both textures. Well, that's going to be it until after Christmas. And I uh, want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Those of you who uh, celebrate Hanukkah this time of year, God bless you. And... Uh, for all of you who don't celebrate Christmas, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but bless you anyway. And I uh, want to thank all of you for being such loyal followers and uh, good people. And hopefully uh, you found this year to be an entertaining year as far as our work goes. All right, everybody. Merry Christmas. A happy New Year. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.